Sure. Look, I wanted to be clear, but my man wouldn't let me. <gasps> well, I'm not being an individual on my own. You're not getting anything? You aren't I doing this fast for Ethiopia? Well, for Christ's sake, what is it with you in Africa? Will you sponsor me? How much? Two pound. Two pound? Catch your cell phone. What's happening over there is really lousy, Aaron. Father Conway showed us a video and there's this one wee fella, Kamal. He's only ten and every morning he walks 25 miles to the nearest well. Does he just really enjoy whales, eh? 25 miles? How far is that? Far? Like, how far are we talking? From here to Bongrana? Further. It's more like from here to Bally Buffet. Shut up. From here to Bally Buffet. Sure you'd be knackered? Kamal is knackered. Are you sure Kamal isn't exaggerating? Look, stop slagging off Kamal. Kamal doesn't have it easy. Now, will you sponsor me or not? Fine. Ah! You touch them, you buy them. That's the law. I don't think that is the law. If I say it's the law, it's the law, smart hole! Right, it's just I can't afford them anymore. Have to give all my money to Kamal. Who the fuck's Kamal? He's a wee Ethiopian fella from Bali Buffet, Dennis. Do you want to sponsor me, Dennis? Get out! Good one, Geldof. Oh my God, David, David Donnelly. Okay, just act normal. No way, are you serious? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Here, have you got a light? Me? No, I don't smoke. Why the hell do I not smoke? I have one. I don't smoke either. I just like melt on stuff. Cool poster. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. Really nice use of, you know, letters. Thanks. You should come along tonight. You're inviting me to your gig? Yeah, well, all of you. But you'd specifically like me to go, I mean. Just so we're clear. But uh, Murder, She Wrote's on tonight. You never miss Murder, She Wrote. Shut up. I'm gonna be late. Yeah, it kicks off at six. Sweet. Go. Cool. Maybe I'll see you there then. You're not seriously going to this concert, are you? Gig, Claire, it's called a gig. And I have to go invite me specifically. Motherfuckers! Motherfucker, it's my new thing. Watched this film last night. My dad got it off Pyra Pauling. And it's about these two lads and they wear these crackers just and they rock about just shooting people and eating cheeseburgers and they're all motherfucker this, motherfucker that. It's got your man in it. What do you call him? The disco dancer from Look Who's Talking. Who owns the fella? Me. Well, come on then, Bollock. Are you introducing yourself or what? Hi, I'm Michelle's cousin, James. Why is he making that funny noise? He's English, Ola. That's the way they talk. He's meant to Kathy's way. I told you about me to Kathy. She went to England years ago to have an abortion, never came back. Never got the abortion either. Look at you, James, eh? Huh? I, I didn't actually know that. What did he say? Nothing interesting. What's he doing here? Kathy's just got divorced, so she's moved back. The husband caught her doing the dirt on him. She's a bit of a goer, is our Kathy? Riding rings around him, so she was. Isn't that right, James? No, I mean, here at our bus stop. Oh, he's going to our school. But he's a fella, and a feminine fella, but a fella all the same. Everyone was shitting it about sending to the boys' school. They were worried the other lads would beat him up because, well... He's English. Mm, and you couldn't really blame them, I suppose. Avon. Avon, Avon. Avon. Uh, we have a wee offer on there for hair removal creams if you want it with the... Uh, there's no seats down here. Just move them, we ducks. What? Why should we sit up the front? We're for fears, they're fetuses. Come on. Mm. All right. Shift to short holes, let's go. Nobody move. You better do as I say, or... Or what? Or there'll be consequences. Such as... We'll, we'll beat you up. Wonderful. Really, Michelle? Go on, then. What? Beat me up. Well, not now. We'll... After school. We'll beat you up after school. Grand. I'll meet you after school and you can beat me up. What's happening exactly? I'll bring my sister, Mandy. You might know her. Mandy O'Connell. She's an upper sack. Like Mandy. Like Mandy's your sister? That's right. Retreat. Right, right. Listen, I think there's been a wee bit of a misunderstanding. Thought you might say that. Now fuck off. Right, we'll do. Oh, that wasn't at all humiliating. I 
long does this fast last? 24 hours. So I still have almost 23 hours to go. Fuck me, not the Africans again. Imagine being born there and not here. We don't know how lucky we are. I fair to use Darius class. I does. Surprised that the time on the clock was the time. Are you Everyone remain seated. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. But do you think if I told him I had an incendiary device around my knickers, he'd have a look? Michelle, he's a soldier. Look, some of them are right. I'm willing to admit it, even if nobody else will because I'm a beacon of truth, Erin. You're a mouth. That's what you are. Hi, guys. Could I just have a quick chat? You must be new. I'm Jenny. Great hair. Very bold. I'd love to go with that short butcher. I don't have the bone structure. He's a fella, Jenny. Oh, I see. Anywho. Anywho. Seriously, shoot me in the face. This is a bit awkward, but part of my role as prefect is welcoming the first year students. And it's come to my attention that there was some sort of an incident on the bus this morning. There was no incident. Apparently, you guys threatened one of the new girls. Sages were going to beat her up. That's lies. There were quite a few witnesses. No, I mean, we said it, but it's a joke. As in, we're going to beat you up, but like in a jokey way. Right. Well, the thing is, that's not actually funny, is it? Like, at all? Well, humour's so subjective, really, so... Now, the wee girl claims that she's not bothered, but reading between the lines... Why are you reading between the lines? I'm just not so sure that I believe her. I don't want to report you guys. Please don't report us, Jenny. Please, we'll do anything, anything at all. Speak for yourself, shout the tights. I think I'll just have to mull it over. Ach, Jenny, mull this over. Oh, we'll see. Michelle! Please, Michelle. No. I have no interest in David Donnelly's spasmal band. They look nice. I can't call my own. Are they nice? Bring Bobby Sands. Sure, how can I go? I'm so weak I can barely walk. What about Orla? What is... I love my wee fingers. What is mental? Come on, Michelle. I'm begging you. It's my big chance with David. I'd do it for you. Fine. But well, we both know you're just going to sit in the corner like a frigid fuck. I'm not frigid. You've never even kissed a boy before. You practice on your pillow sometimes, but you don't think that's the same. The reading of the diary is bad enough. I could do without the quoting it from memory. Michelle, would you mind showing me where the toilet is? You are really starting to do my head, and do you know that? Will the following pupils please report to Sister Michael's office immediately? Erin Quinn, Orla McCool, Claire Devlin, Michelle Mallon, and the wee English fella. Thank you. I wonder what that could be about. It wasn't bullying. It was attempted bullying. What if we get expelled? Nobody ever actually gets expelled. Rhonda Gallagher hasn't even been expelled and she's an ARA. I'd say that's probably why. I can't find the boys' toilets anywhere. It's an all-girls school, duckface. There are no boys' toilets. So should I just use the girls' toilets? No, you should not, you fucking pervert. Yes, I really don't feel great. I feel sort of shaky. I think my blood sugar's dangerously low. Seriously, will you just have an arse bar? What about Kumail? Fuck him, Al. Look, whatever happens in there, we have to stick together, okay? We have to back each other up. Ladies. So it had nothing to do with me. Yes, okay, I was there. I admit that, but I didn't do anything. It was Michelle. It was all Michelle. I'm not going down for something I didn't do. If anyone deserves to get punished, it should be Michelle. Well, I think it's safe to say we all just lost a bit of respect for you there, Claire. This is just so disappointing, girls. I mean, threatening a first year. We didn't threaten her. We're not stupid. Meg Mandy's her sister and she's half fucking gorilla. That's quite enough, Miss Mallon. Hey, you shouldn't swear, Michelle, because when you swear our lady in heaven, she cries her tears, then make rain. Isn't that right, Sister Michael? What age are you now, Orla? Fifteen. Yeah, you might want to think about wising up. It was all just a misunderstanding. I promise, sister. Is that right, Tina? Was it a misunderstanding? Look, I didn't even report them. I'm not a grass. I'm saying nothing. Is that because you're intimidated by them? <laughs> oh, you're serious? 
No, I'm not intimidated by them, sister. Okay. Well, I see no need to take this matter any further, but if I ever get wind of something like this happening again... Oh, you won't, sister. Yeah. S sister Michael, can I just quickly ask, um, since there's no male student toilets on the premises, am I permitted to use the staff ones? Absolutely not. Now, I think you all owe Tina an apology, don't you? We're very sorry, very Tina. Sorry, Tina. Sorry, sorry, Tina. Tina. Sorry. sorry. And Tina, do you accept their apology? No. You don't accept their apology? Do I have to accept their apology, sister? I don't suppose you do, no. Then I don't. I don't accept it. I see. I cannot actually believe this. I'm missing David Tomley's gig, Michelle. And all because of that manager, motherfucker. I swear, if you say motherfucker one more time, what's wrong with you? This is your fault. Why is it my fault? You're the one who threatened the first year. You're the one who gave Jenny Joyce the finger. I'm desperate now. This is agony. Can you please stop crying in my face for five fucking minutes, James? I feel awful. I think my body's gone into starvation mode. I think it's starting to shut down. For Christ's sake, Claire, you've just basically skipped lunch. Orla, that better not be what I think it is. You better not have brought my diary to school. I had to. I'm doing my book report on it. Damn it! No! What's going on there, girl? She has my diary, sister, and she won't give it back. I'll take that. Sit down. Mr. Maguire, you have been warned. Do not ask me again. This is disgraceful. I should have access to a lavatory. What about my civil rights? Coroner. And you, give that here. Fuck, sister. No. Shouldn't you put that in the confiscator box? Quiet. What am I going to do, Erin? That colour has been discontinued. <sighs> this is torture. Michelle, I can't hold it in any longer. What part of me not giving a flying fuck are you struggling with exactly? Oh, look. Your boring fucking diary sent you to sleep. I'm taking my lipstick back. Michelle, you can't do that. It's stealing. She stole it first. Michelle, don't. God. Jesus, that's disgusting. Stop it. That's English for you fucking savages. Don't look at me like that, Aaron. You'll get your two points back. But will you ever get your self-respect back, Claire? Right. If I leave now, I might still catch David. What if Sister Declan wakes up? It's funny how she sleeps with her eyes wide open, isn't it? What? Sweet suffering, Jehovah. Obviously, Sister Declan's death was extremely shocking and unexpected. We're still struggling to understand exactly what happened. Yeah. Can I just ask, what age was Sister Declan? She'd have been 98 on Friday. Right. Might that shed some light on the situation? How so? Does anybody else have any thoughts on the whole her being almost 98 years of age thing? Struck down in her prime. The hospital are saying it was heart failure, but I have my doubts. As I said on the phone, the circumstances in which I found her body were strange, to say the least. So I've decided to carry out a full investigation into the incident. That makes sense. What? Nothing about this makes sense. The woman was almost 98 years of age. She had a heart attack. Why is everybody going absolutely mental? Less of the cheek, Erin. We, we didn't do anything. It's not fair. But the thing is, life isn't fair. You see, injustice is something I have become accustomed to. I am, after all, a child of the crossfire, surrounded by conflict. But I choose to rise above it. The path to peace is paved with tolerance and understanding. Violence is never the answer. I 
I'm going to ram that so far up your heart! I just can't get my head around it. The fact that he's gone forever. It's so sad. It really is. It is so, so sad. But at the same time, you know what's done is done, so let's crack on. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. Has his sudden tragic death interrupted your studies? Well, it has a bit, actually, yeah. Why can you be so heartless? Don't cry, Aaron. He's in a better place now. Unless he's not, you know, cos unless he's gone to hell. Can we please talk about something else? I'm half torn. This is wrecking my head. What? Have you been drinking? Yes, I have. And for future reference, if any of you invite me to a study sleepover again and I'm desperate enough to accept that invitation, there's a good chance I have a litre bottle of Perno in my bag. I shouldn't even have to sit the exam when you know compassionate grounds. He was a dog, Aaron! Toto was much more than a dog. Toto was my best friend. Oh, Christ, I feel a bit bulky. Sweet suffering, Jesus, it's the morning already. What are we gonna do? Well, maybe we could start with calming the fuck down. Calm down? We're still on William of Orange, Michelle. We haven't so much looked at the famine. We've got the gist. They ran out of spots. Everyone was raging. Well, I can't tell my rebellions from my risings. And whose fault's that? If your lot had stopped invading us for five fucking minutes, there'd be a lot less to wade through. You English prick. <sighs> Nothing's going in. Nothing is going in, and every time I try to think, nope. <sighs> What's happening to me? <sighs> There's quite a lot of caffeine in those, Claire. How many of them have you had? I don't know, five. Twenty-three. <sighs> We're all so fucked. Now, come on, girls, lead up. You'll need all your energy for the big exam. <sighs> we'll need a miracle for the big exam. <sighs> Mommy, what happened to Toto? It's just hit me so hard. And I'm worried it might affect my performance. Oh, come here, love. Look, if you fail the exam, I promise you, there'll be a nice wee plot out there with your name on it. It's abuse. That's what it is. It's abusive. Does anybody have 10 pm? I'm bringing Childline. You can't bring Childline every time your math threatens to kill you, Erin. Yeah, you can't waste Esther's time like that. And in a way, you're not alone. We're all going to fail. We're all going to get our holes kicked. And we're all in the same boat. I don't want to be in that boat. I want to be in a different boat selling down a totally different river. Guys, all we can do is try our best. Oh, don't be such a frick, James. Oh my God, look. Doesn't that dog look like Toto? I suppose it does a bit, yeah. Looks exactly like him. Here, boy. Come here, boy. Here, boy. Come here, boy. Here, boy. Come here. Here, boy. Here, boy. Of course. Trying to butter up the big woman. Oh, Mary, full of grace. Oh, Lord, just with thee. Blessed heart, though. Oh, no, no, you'll definitely pass. Well, it's worth a try. Aye. I'm not going to bother with any never seen again material, because let's face it, we've been there before. You know it's balls. I know it's balls. <gasps> oh, my God. What is it? She. She. I saw it with my own eyes. So what? She smirked. Who, Big M? Hi. She just smirked at me. Are you sure you didn't just... Jesus! Me too. She just smirked at me too. Why isn't she smirking at me? She isn't smirking at anyone, James. I just ought to. The holy smirk, thanks be to God. You're imagining it. Three of us saw it, Erin. How do you explain that? Sleep deprivation? Perno? Delusional personality disorder. <laughs> there you are. Here, boy! Here, boy! I mean, it's uncanny! Okay, let's do it together. Everyone look away. Right, so one, three. One. No, 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 no. Two. I mean, have a better respect. Three. <gasps> no way! What? No, you. She's crying. She's crying real tears. Oh God, please. Oh God, no, this is bad. I said we needed a miracle, and behold, we have been given one. This isn't a miracle, Claire. The exam, Aaron. Fuck the exam.
exam. Sorry. Listen. This is huge, Claire. The thing is, do you really think they're going to make us sit exam after seeing this? May I have a point? Of course I have a point. We are the motherfucking children of Fatima people! <laughs> Listen, girls, I don't really think beyond the exam or us getting out of doing it, before this goes any further, before we talk to this priest, there is something I think you all need to know. Come in, Father. <laughs> Fuck me. I like your shiny hair. This is just going to be a very relaxed, informal chat. And I don't want you to think of me as a priest. Think of me as a friend. Look. Just like you now. Dose. So, before we begin, do you guys have any questions for me? Is that your real eye call or are they contacts? These are my real eyes. Anyone? Have you ever done any modeling? No. Does anyone have any questions about what happened in the church this morning? Nope, I don't think so. No. No. No idea. No. Okay then. So you claim you saw our Blessed Lady's features change, is that right? I, the Virgin Muller's mark with us, Peter, yeah, that is correct. I see. And after that, the statue, well, you claim it started weeping. You're using the word claim a lot there, Peter. Girls, I'm not here to make any judgments. I'm just trying to get the truth, that's all. You think we're lying, don't you? No, of course not. I do. <laughs> Directly before the weeping, can you remember what you were doing? What you were talking about? I remember that James was being a dick. Miss Mallon. I don't like to use that word, sister, but it's so hard to describe James any other way because he's just such a dick. I don't think you're a dick, James. Really? Really. And you know who else doesn't think you're a dick? Our Lord. Uh, how do you know our Lord doesn't think he's a dick? Our Lord doesn't think anyone's a dick. I very much doubt that. Well, it's the truth. Marty Pello? No. Harry Ashton? No. Your man from Funhouse? Hey, Pat Sharp. Pat Sharp. Pat Sharp's definitely a dick. Okay. The five of you attending chapel praying together, would that be a typical morning? <laughs> very good. It's not joking, Michelle. Oh, Christ, fuck no. We were just following that stupid dog. I'm sorry? Dog has nothing to do with anything. See, Aaron's dog died recently and she saw one that sort of looked like him a bit. The dog's relevant. So we, we, we followed him for a while, this dog. The dog and the statue are unrelated. And he led us to the chapel. The dog led you to the chapel. The dog isn't important. Maybe it is. What if this dog you saw, Aaron? What if it didn't simply look like your dog? What if it actually was your dog? Right. Maybe. But as I think we mentioned, uh, Toto's dead. My ma saw him get hit by an army land rover and then buried him in our back garden, so probably not. A beloved animal returning from the dead. Now, we've seen this before. Oh, ghost dog. No, 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 not ghost dog. Resurrected dog. It is mental out there. Everybody's talking about it. Dennis gave me free pick and mix. Bonbons and all, no fucking about. Like, we're basically celebrities now. We like the course. Can I be Jim? It's too much, Aaron. I can't handle it. I think I'm going to crack. Okay, look, this has got way out of hand. What are you wearing? What did I say? You look like a fucking ball bag. Your hair's all funny. I just put a bit too much mousse in it, that's all. Listen, girls. Get off me. Will you listen? It was piss. What was? The tears on the statue. Well, I actually have good reason to believe they were actually dog piss. No, you're not serious. Deadly serious. Sweet and gentle Jesus. I mean, that sort of makes sense. I'm not even sure I saw her smirk anymore. I've had a lot of caffeine. I definitely didn't see her smirk. I was lying, so. Excellent. I was going to tell you all earlier, but then Peter showed up and there was just this instant connection, like a spark. There was no spark here. He said it was special. He also said your dead pet had been fucking resurrected, so you know, pinch of salt. Yes. And now he's talking about digging him up. And when he does, he'll realise that Toto has not, in fact, been resurrected. He'll realise that Toto is just dead. Very, very dead. And we've all been talking shit. We need to tell the truth. No! No fucking way. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Look, Claire. Take a long, hard look at that. And this is only the beginning. 
The Dairy Journal are on their way around. They said we could make page five. Aaron Taylor? Yeah, we could tell the truth. But I sort of like the fact that Peter thinks I'm the chosen one, so... James! I have a slight concern. The truth might affect my friendship with Peter. You don't have a friendship with Peter? Yes, I do. We have a lot in common, Claire. Like what? I mean, apart from the fact you appear to be wearing his clothes? Like the fact that we're both very spiritual, but mainly the fact that he doesn't think I'm a dick, and neither do I. Come on, people! The jig is up! Doesn't have to be. What has become of us? Keep an eye on that kitchen window, you. I want no part of this. Well, you're in too deep, Roy Claire. I mean, we're stealing a body. Let's just get it over with and never ever speak of it again. Jesus Christ, my nails are fucking ruined. Let's talk and more digging. I've got something. Give it here. Right. Me and Michelle go stash him somewhere, and the rest of you will follow it back in. Open the box, Aaron. The gold. Yes, he is with us. Do not be afraid, child. Listen, I can. Oh, no, actually, I can't. I can't explain. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I don't understand it. Oh, wait, another one. Beautiful. Another one. Oh, wait, one more. There's so much on it. The Champs Elysees, the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre. A French fella. That's what I want to do. Nation of rides. My family's going funny just thinking about it. Well, could you not use that word, Michelle? What family? Why do you always have to be so coarse? Oh, what's the big deal? We all have one. I don't. You are one? Of course. Beckett lived in Paris. And if anybody's influenced my writing, it what, is. What, Brenda Beckett from 12A? No, not Brenda Beckett. Beckett Beckett. If we go to Paris, I'd like to meet Nicole. Who's Nicole? For God's sake, how many times? It's just an ad. She's not a real person. Neither is Papa. Be good conversation practice as well, you know, for the orals. Which will be the only oral that you eat. Yeah, OK, Michelle. Yeah, let me finish. Well, I sense where you're going. Low jobs. Oh, God. Don't tell me, Shirley. Calvin has gone. She is dying about herself. Oh, I'm so good looking. Oh, I'm so popular. If there ever was a more shallow, self absorbed, genuinely unpleasant human being. Hi, Aaron. Like... Hi. Good. Grant. Not too bad. Can't complain. Is the answer I'd have given a few has to us. Right. Are you signing up for Paris? I can't convince that lot to come. Looks like I'm going to need someone to hang out with. It would be an honour. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. You will, Charlene. Indeed you will! Did you hear that? The Charlene Gavin wants to hang around with little old me. You know what I admire most about you, Erin? Your unshakable principles. Well, Jenny Joyce was talking through her fat hole about this trust fund thing. What's yours? Don't rush me, Finola. Where the fuck are we going to get the money for Paris now? We could sell our organs. We could. We could sell our organs. Or, and um, forgive me if this is a bit left field, but could we not, you know, get jobs? There are no jobs in Derry. That's all you ever hear anybody say. So what are these? I never really looked at this before. I just assumed they were all dead cat posters. Missing cat posters. If you're an optimist. I'm not sure if I'd be suited to any of these. They're all very practical and I'm just more creative. You're more of a slabber. For fuck's sake. I think other people are onto this thing. Oi, I'll not ask you again. A large curry body, Fenella. And don't be shy with the salt now. What about them? You will never guess what she's done this time, Erin. Did she neck the notice board from the chip shop, Claire? When all of us out the back cashing up, I sneaked in, yanked it off the wall, and away I went. I was like a thief in the night. <laughs> you were like a thief in the night? You actually were a thief in the night? And you stole from Vanilla, of all people. Vanilla, 
I once saw her punch a Rottweiler, Michelle. If she finds out about this, she'll kill you. Kill us? You're an accessory after the fact now, my friend. Oh, God. Can I ask why he stole the notice board? So we get first dibs in all the jobs? Wouldn't it have been easier to just remove the notices? They're only blue tacked on. Fuck off, dickweed. Christ, what possessed you, Michelle? Yeah, the more I talk about it and the more I sober up, the less sure I am, really. You are drunk! Brilliant. Fuck, we're not like Jenny Joyce. Nobody's just gonna hand us things. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't have things. Come on, Claire. I know how much you've dreamed of seeing the art dip, whatever the fuck it's called. James. I know how much you want to practice that shit out of the past participle. Orla. You really, really boss off those Renault Cleo ads. And you here. Well, you're just riding short in Kevin. I'm not riding her. I just think it might be time I moved on friendship wise. You are where you're talking to your current friends. We can't give up on Paris. Let's do this, girls. Let's just make it happen. God, I've never seen you so fired up. I will book a French lad, Erin. I will book a French lad, so help me God. So, firstly, we have the tutoring. And out of everyone, I thought you might be best suited to that, Claire, because... I'm the brightest. Well, in that conventional sort of way, I suppose. There's also some babysitting. The child will be in bed, so you should just about be able to manage that, Michelle. Oh, thanks. You should just about be able to manage this. Always the lady. There's also some gardening, mowing a lawn, etc. This will require a bit of muscle, so... You should take that one, Arla. No, I should do that one. It's a man's job, Erin. I'm a man. That's debatable. Well, I'm more of a man than Orla. I do not accept that. Come on, Erin. Fine. So that leaves dog walking and washing a car. Is it a Renault Cleo? No. I'll take the dogs. OK. Let's go to work. Are we not going to Paris? We're spending our Sunday scrubbing Fennel's fucking fish hole for free. Aye, and she'll be back from yoga soon, so get a shift done. It's slave labour in. It's worse than slave labour. We're not even getting paid. Look, Mommy had to cut some sort of deal. Would living without fried food really be so bad? Yes. She wouldn't actually have banned us. She was bluffing. She's not bluffing, Michelle. She doesn't she banned the McGuigan twins? Seriously? Sure, that's why they lost all the weight. Right, girls. No dicking about. We need to leave this place fucking spotless. We are young, we run green, we got tea, nice and clean. See our friends, see the sights, feel alright. We wake up, we go out, smoke a fire, put it out. See our friends, see the sights, feel alright. Still sticky? Hi. Oh, Hi, yeah. oh, is it still sticky? Is it worse than when we started? I think it might be, yeah. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, th this isn't Windeline. This is. This is mayonnaise. Great work, folks. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, everyone. It's been a productive morning. Vanilla will be absolutely thrilled. Vanilla's 
cupboard. I think she might have a bit of a problem. You think Vanilla might have a bit of a problem? Put it away and get back downstairs now. Well, sit yourselves down and have a wee drink. No, Michelle, it's wrong. So are those ski pants, Claire, but that doesn't stop you pulling them over your hole this morning. Wait for it. Michelle! Don't be such a sure of boar bags. Launch a motherfucker! No, 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 no! <laughs> One to ten. How dead do you think we are? Your ma said we could come up and have a look at the Russian. Ukrainian. Is this her? As in she cracker? She's half mine. No, she's not Orla. Yeah, she is, Mammy said so. You're so lucky, Ian. I begged my ma to let me have one. But she said we've no room now that my dickhead ball bag English prick of a cousin's moved in. I'm talking about you, James, in case you're wondering. Yep, that much was clear. Thank you, Michelle. Have you seen the one Jenny Joyce got, the fella? Massive, massive ride. I've been thinking, might be time for me to lose the rest of my virginity. And he's definitely a contender. You help me. Uh, you put in good word with your Cossack friend so we can... Could you stop that? Uh, I'm very sorry for all your trouble, you know, the whole hey <laughs> at the power plant. Okay. When you think about it, we've actually got a lot in common because we understand what it's like to be a young person from a troubled place. It is not the same. Chernobyl was a terrible nuclear accident. You people like to fight each other, and to be honest, no person really understands why. Well, there's actually a political element to it, Katya, and there's a religious element. Mm, but you're not two different religions here. You're different flavors of the same religion, no? Well, yes. But it's a little bit more complicated than that, Katya. To me, it's stupid. Oh, my God. It is stupid. It is so, so stupid. Who is this? Oh, that's just James. You are handsome. <laughs> and also sexy. Is her English not great? What's happening? Why would she do that? Why? Fuck knows he's minging. She seems to be really enjoying it. Is he enjoying it? It's hard to tell. Well, if he's not enjoying it, isn't that sort of sexual harassment -y? Yeah, we should put a stop to it. Aye. Does anyone want a third pastel? 